Good evening. It's uh, May 11, 2022, day number 11. Welcome to our Praying Our Way to Pentecost, the uh, half million mobilization. And uh, for tonight, our verse is John chapter 15, verse 16. You did not choose me, but I chose you and appointed you so that you might go and bear fruit, fruit that will last. And so that whatever you ask in my name, the Father will give you. Our scripture insights for tonight is uh, written by our dear district superintendent in Los Angeles, Reverend Greg Carman. Directly from the heart of Jesus, he has called each one of us to bear fruit, to be productive in ministry, and to win people to the Lord. And it all begins with prayer. Our prayers must always be connected with Jesus. Because as we abide in him and he in us, we know that the Father is always watching. Jesus reminds us in this passage that he is the vine and we are the branches. And as we remain in him, we will become fruitful. Today, Jesus is building his church and he is using you and me as his stones to build on his firm foundation. He has chosen you to step up, trust in him, and share the message of hope, faith, and love with everyone you encounter. What a joy it is to see in so many nations today that people are turning to Christ Jesus as their Savior. Think about your neighbors, co-workers, and friends who have not yet sought the Lord as Savior. Take time to pray, seek God's counsel, and become bold in sharing your faith with them. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, grant me to grant to me the spirit of boldness to be your light and soul to everyone I encounter today, so that I may win people to you. Thank you, Lord, for choosing me to become one of your fruit bearers. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Our prayer journal reflections. What is the Holy Spirit saying to you today about the Lord's protection, direction, and revelation for your life and the life of La Filness Church? Please comment down below your answers or do your personal reflection, make a journal, and grow spiritually. God bless you. And uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Bye.